Hello, I'm Steve Kapler, Executive Vice President from Enactus USA. And I'm Mahesh Fah, Country Leader from Enactus Morocco. We're here to tell you about the first ever virtual collaboration that took place between our two countries. Together with the Stevens Initiative, we built an exciting accelerated program with entrepreneurship and cultural collaboration at its core. This four-week program was an entrepreneurial immersion that took students through project ideation, implementation, and impact phases. They focused their work on one of the United Nations Sustainability Development Goals and join others that are passionate about that same goal. Students from Enactus US and Enactus Morocco had the unique opportunity to collaborate and work together to drive team project pitch to create impact. During this time, they had virtual classroom coursework, including entrepreneurship, prototype lab, entrepreneurship basics, team management, branding your business, new marketing and growth and impact, partnerships and business development. They also had several online courses they took, including Design for Delight from Intuit, a business acumen course, and creating a business model canvas, collaborative leadership, leading as a member of a team, and finally selling for success, persuasive communication. We had 10 teams of 10 students each, five from each country. They spent time in virtual meetings to determine their approach to the specific SDG. They communicated using Zoom and other tools, as well as using Slack. They truly figured out a way to work together, despite not physically being together. And as you see, we come up with some incredible ideas. Yes, they did this and they learned from each other. Most teams embedded the input from both countries into their pitch, and it showed the true nature and power of cross-cultural collaborations. They certainly made great use of the notion of cross-cultural ideation. Now, let's listen to Manara Latir from the Stevens Initiative, our sponsor in this exciting initiative, as she tells you more about their work. In fact, I am so happy to welcome you all to the Stevens Initiative community. We're so ex excited to have you. And uh, I, I want to first kind of give you a background. The Stevens Initiative is a last year tribute to Ambassador Stevens, who dedicated his whole career to building bridges between people in the United States and the MENA region. So at the initiative, we want to continue building those bridges. And part of this is built virtual exchange. So it's been really an honor to witness how you all have been been part of virtual exchange most importantly how you cross collaborated and i'm sure went through a lot of challenges to put these presentations together but most importantly you learned you learned how to understand each other you learned how to work through those problems how to communicate and that's our goal and at the Siemens Initiative, uh, just to kind of give you a background, it was conceived and developed in partnership with the family of Ambassador Stevens, and it was launched in 2015. Uh, we're grateful that this initiative is sponsored by the U.S. Department of State with funding provided by the U.S. government and administered by the Aspen Institute. Additional funding is provided by the Bessos Family Foundation and the governments of Morocco and the United Arab Emirates. So I'm so happy that I got to work so closely with the Inactive team and you guys you are the first cohort ever within Enactus to to cross collaborate like this so you should feel very proud and very unique and definitely this is to start towards more global cross collaboration teams as part of the programming for the Enactus entrepreneurial exchange the teams were asked to submit a meet the teams video where they would introduce themselves and tell a little bit about why they were excited to be part of this program the Enactus Entrepreneurial Exchange Program has been wonderful. We saw the similarities and differences in our cultures, and we used this to make our ideas and project better. Our team is excited to connect and collaborate with students from around the world to create a global impact that will change our societies. And we feel the coming together of empathetic minds, willing to imprint a mark of goodness in the world, is laudable. We combine fervent admiration for business and entrepreneurship with ardent passion for social equity and inclusion to solve critical issues. We are happy, honored, proud, and excited to be part of this inaugural cohort. And we look forward to the experience, opportunities, and results it will bring. 
We are United States and Morocco enacted strong. We are Team 8. Hello, I am Rudi Sharma and I am part of Team 2 representing Enactus USA. My name is Munya from Enactus Morocco. I'm so excited to the competition. Thank you Enactus Morocco, Enactus USA and Stevens Initiative. We act to impact. Hi, I'm Alexandria Keith from Enactus USA and I just wanted to say that I'm really excited to be participating in this Enactus exchange. Um, I'm learning a lot and I can't wait for the competition. I'm, I'm Simon Mjdo from Team 2. No poverty. We are so excited the competition. And I want to thank Seven Initiative and uh, Inax Mark for this great opportunity. Really, thank you so much. And we're going to win, inshallah. Hi everyone, my name is Zinda Bafit from Enactus Morocco. I'm working on the SDG of No Poverty with Team 2. I just want to say that I'm very excited to be on this program. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tahaj Bak from Enactus Morocco. I'm so happy to be part of an Axios exchange program and I'm so excited for the competition. Hi, I'm Sai Smitagar Mila from City University of Seattle representing Enactus USA. Hi, my name is Michael Walkin from the University of Ozarks, Enactus USA. I'm excited to be a part of the Enactus exchange. It has given me the opportunity to connect with brilliant minds from around the world. Hi, my name is Rekha Ban. I'm from Budapest, Hungary, and I'm part of Anaktus USA's team. Thank you so much for Anaktus Morocco and USA for making this possible for all of us. And my favorite part was the communication with our team members through WhatsApp and Zoom calls, and also the presentations that were amazing about the African continent and entrepreneurship. Hi, my name is Anthony Ekiafu, and I'm a part of the Enactus United States team. I have learned so much collaborating and ideating with my teammates on projects. And thank you very much, Enactus United States and Enactus Morocco, for, um, for this program. Hello, everyone. My name is Hazar Lashab, and I'm from Morocco. And I did participate in the exchange program between Enactus Morocco and Enactus USA. The program was so good in a way that it did help us collaborate. It did help us make the projects we made, and we are so proud of it. Hello everyone, I'm Ayman. I'm a member of Enactus in Meknes. Uh, I was assigned to Team 3. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who participated in creating and like uh, directing this program. It was an amazing program. It had its ups and downs uh, because it's its first edition, but it's amazing. Thank you. Hey everyone, and welcome to Enactus Entrepreneurial Exchange. I am Hamza Shami, an Enactus Morocco alumni and I was leading the team to endure in this program period. Meet the members of this amazing team. My name is Rick Cabo and I'm from the Netherlands, uh, but I study in the United States at Cochrane University. I am Isaiah Ortiz from University of the Ozarks at Clarksville, Arkansas. My name is Queen Dawn. I am a Vietnamese student studying at Worcester State University, USA. We are yeah. in Texas, USA. I'm Nohila Zahra Afiri Bessi from Morocco and I'm studying Urban and Environmental Engineering at Hassani School for Public Works. I'm Hiba from Enactus UM6P Morocco. I'm Munia from Rabat Morocco. I study at Hassan II Institute of Agronomy and Veterinary. We, we are Enactus Morocco. Morocco. We are a group of leaders collaborating to create an impact through STG 13. And climate Action. We developed a project named Impact. which purpose is to reuse excessive waste to reduce global warming impacts related to plastic pollution. This program is a great opportunity to collaborate with enactors from all over the world with one goal, saving the planet. We believe that small actions can bring big changes. After going through four weeks of courses, both in person and online, and working together as a team to develop a pitch around a specific SDG, Students were asked to deliver that pitch at a competition we held Monday, August 31st. We brought judges from around the world to help us determine who had the best pitch. They were judged on the development of a problem statement, the quality of the solution or idea presented, if they had proof of concept, the intended impact and sustainability, and finally, the presentation quality. Also, extra credit could be earned by demonstrating how the cross-cultural collaboration had a positive impact on their work. The judges' scores were tallied, and our winner was actually Team 3 for their work around SDG 3, which is to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. So let's watch the winning presentation.
Uh, antibiotic resistance is becoming a really big threat to public safety. This phenomenon occurs when bacteria has been exposed to antibiotics and begins to develop resistance. This can occur in individuals as well as bacteria, making it a threat to everyone. According to the World Health Organization, antimicrobial resistance is present in all parts of the world, with new resistance mechanisms emerging and spreading globally. Luckily, Mother Nature has many natural options that can still fight antibacterial resistance bacteria. That's where Dr. Herbs comes in, harnessing the power of plants and herbs to give an alternative and more effective solution than pharmaceutical medicine. Um, we did make a business plan to our project and uh, we did send it to you too. Uh, we uh, eventually did work on it uh, in a way that we can have a natural alternative to like uh, uh, produce more natural medicines. We are proposing to prototype, even if the time was so short, uh, taking care of the packaging who would be like a uh, natural too. And we have two examples of uh, the prototyping uh, we propose. Uh, we have also like uh, did uh, meet a Moroccan uh, guy who did heal from uh, one of um, uh, his uh, sickness using like natural medicines and we did talk with him so as we can have his um, feedbacks. Uh, our short and long term will be uh, first to launch our product and after people will be adopting natural healing processes more, uh, we will digitalize our products by creating a website and we will be organizing uh, workshops and labs to show to people how these medicines are made and uh, the market of uh, Tara, which is like a, a traditional market who sells like these natural products, will, will go internationally and worldwide. Uh, our vision is to adapt a new lifestyle, healthy and natural one, and where herbs can be the future of our medicines. Uh, the, the part of the exchange of cultures, we did like, uh, in our team, we did talk about different herbs each one has in his country. And we can like, we did um, talk about like uh, the natural medicines in the both countries. Uh, so as we can have like an exchange, even in terms of like the different herbs if every country have, or the natural medicines every country have. And we can after exchange even our products, uh, the products of USA and the products of uh, Morocco. So here we can show like even the exchange we had uh, while uh, sharing our culture and sharing our uh, information about uh, the natural medicines and everything um, and it was so perfect at the end and I would love to thank you so much for like uh, hearing us out and for listening to our project Dr. Herbs. Well that was truly remarkable that this level of work could all be done in only four weeks while you were taking courses as well. We couldn't be more proud of all the teams and for their work. They overcame time zone challenges, technology challenges, and other commitments, all to do some amazing things. They proved to all students that even in this time of a pandemic, you can get meaningful work started. And we know this is indeed a challenge for all inactive students across the world. Indeed, Steve. I'm particularly proud of the fact that all students really learned about the other country involved and used that to their advantage in completing the work. It truly was a lesson in how diversity of all kinds can work to drive ideation and innovation. As you look to develop and grow your Enactus teams, keep in mind that bringing people together from different backgrounds and engaging in diversity of thought can and will enhance your projects. We'd also like to extend a thank you to all of our judges, to all of our mentors who engage with our teams throughout this process, to our course facilitators, and most importantly, to the students who showed a level of enthusiasm, engagement, and really, really did some amazing work in a very short period of time. And thank you again to the Stevens Initiative and the Aspen Institute for working with us and believing in us to create something unique and different and prove that across the globe, we are always better when we work together to solve the world's greatest challenges. Thank you. Thank you.